Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. I wanted to make a little video on self-care. So, self-care can be, it's a pretty popular topic these days. And sometimes we make it very complicated and think that self-care is like going to the spa or, or like taking trips or spending a lot of money and it's not. So self-care, to me, is taking the time to intentionally care for yourself. Now, this varies from person to person. What is good self-care for one person may not be for another. Now, there are basics that are important and good for everyone to do. So self-care needs to include physically taking care of yourself, mentally taking care of yourself, emotionally, spiritually. So the physical part is we need to sleep. <laughs> you need to eat good quality food on a regular basis. You need to hydrate, you need water. You need to I said sleep, you also need to rest. Sometimes we just need to rest. And so those are, you know, the basic physical needs. Well, and safety. We need we need safety. If our nervous system is always jacked up because we're in unsafe places or around unsafe people, that's also physically not good for us, as well as mentally and emotionally. So those are physical self-care, and then there's mental and emotional self-care that has to do with, you know, are there interesting things in our life? Are we being challenged? Um, and this, and sometimes work is challenging, sometimes it's not. Sometimes we need challenges in our personal time and off time. But are you feeling like, do you feel like you use your brain? You know, are you, are you using your resources? And emotionally, self-care can be are you spending time with people that help you feel safe, that help you feel regulated? Are you engaging in hobbies and interests that help you feel good, that make you feel good? Are you, oh, on the physical side, are you moving your body as well? And again, this does not need to be intense workouts. You don't need to be a gym person, but the human body was made to move literally sitting around all the time is not healthy for anyone. So we need movement. You know, are you taking walks in nature? Now, if you're a gym person, great, go to the gym. But if you're not, you know, are you taking walks in nature? Are you doing some stretching? Are you doing yoga? Are you dancing? Are you, um, there's any number of things. Are you jump roping? Are you, whatever is of interest to you. Or are you doing a variety of things, which is which is a great idea too. Mix it up a little bit. Mentally, emotionally, like are you doing things to help you feel better on a daily basis? It's really, really, really important. And it can be very small things. You know, when it comes, for instance, everybody's got to eat. Yes, we all need to eat food. And are you making sure you're eating things that feel good to you, that are appealing to you, that taste good to you? Are you listening to your body and eating things in amounts that feel good to you? Not overeating, not undereating. You know, are you eating enough? Um, are you getting enough variety for you? Now, if you're a person that loves the same dinner every night and you're content with that, that's fine. You do not need to, oh my gosh, I've got to have something different. No, no, no. Self-care is about listening to yourself. What is, feels good and nourishing and supportive to me in this moment, on this day, and all sorts of things can be good self-care. All sorts of things. Making sure you brush your teeth on a regular basis, making sure you wash your clothes, making sure you have clothes that fit you to wear, not too big, not too small, you know, things that you like, things that visually appeal to you, in addition to being comfortable. 
I am big for comfort these days. Uncomfortable clothes are terrible, or shoes, or like anything that is physically uncomfortable, like why are we doing this? So making sure you have comfortable clothes that fit appropriately is a part of self-care. <clears throat> um, boundary issues, making sure that you're not, you know, around people that, you know, bring you down any more than necessary. You know, sometimes you got to deal with difficult people. <sighs> but we can usually limit some of that. And, and that's important. So self-care really, really matters. <clears throat> and it can be very simple. Do not make it complicated. And as you're doing these things, support yourself in doing them. So if you are choosing food that appeals to you, that you're enjoying, let yourself enjoy it. And affirm to yourself, you know, I pick this meal because this is what I wanted. I am taking care of myself. This is really, really important for folks that have had histories of abuse or especially neglect because they weren't taken care of and they may not have seen or experienced good care and learning to do that for yourself as an adult is can be so empowering and really really healing it affirms your worth it affirms your value that you matter enough to for you to take the time to care for yourself and you do matter enough it does matter it does matter and neglect is honestly a really challenging situation to face because it is often so not recognized and it is so it's so easy to dismiss it and to uh, rationalize it away. Folks who have lived lives of neglect often don't quite feel real because they were ignored. They were disregarded and that, in, or they were isolated. And being ignored and isolated is very psychologically painful and yet, it's easy. A lot of people said, well, you know, my parents never beat me. Um, I was never harmed as a child. Um, yeah, but if your needs were not tended to, then you were neglected. And neglect is very psychologically damaging. Very much so. <sighs> to, the, to the point that I would say it's it can almost be more difficult than abuse because your your very existence is disregarded that's a really big impact you know if not that beating children beating children is wrong don't you do not misread this when a child is being beaten or physically harmed they know they exist. They're being beaten. When you are literally ignored, disregarded, like you're not even there, it calls your very existence into question. And that's, that's quite a head trip. That that's really can be very messed up. It's very insidious, that, that's a good word for it. Neglect, someone with a history of neglect the effects are really insidious and can be very challenging to treat because it's so challenging just to identify it. So I, I just wanted to make that distinction known as well um, for folks who may be struggling with issues, elements of neglect as, as a child or growing up um, can be a really challenging thing to deal with. But self-care on a daily basis can do a lot to heal that, to remedy some of those old missing spaces. And um, so self-care also, and, and related to that is something called self-parenting. 
is can be really powerful. And there's a book by that title called Self Parenting, and the author uh, I don't have the the name of the author off the top of my head, but if you Google Self Parenting, it'll come up. It's a wonderful little book, very helpful um, if you're interested in, in learning more about like how to reparent yourself, how to parent if you have not been well parented or properly parented. And learning to take care of ourselves is really powerful. It really is very nourishing, very healing. You might think, oh, well, you know, what's it going to do? Oh, it can do a lot. So don't underestimate that. Don't disregard that. There is a lot that we can do for ourselves. Now, yes, we, we need support of others in our life. Absolutely. And we need to take care of ourselves as well. So self-care, anything can be self-care, anything that's positive and nourishing and, and helpful, and affirm that for yourself as you're doing it. It's like, I'm doing this for me because it helps me, it's growing me as a person, it's helping me be stronger, healthier, more um, resilient, more flexible, more, more whatever, whatever it is you're working on, because it's true. Self-care is going to help us be more regulated, help our nervous system be more regulated, and thus help us to be stronger. So I hope that was helpful. Until next time.